In this video, we will learn how to draw curved lines with the arc command. Open Creative Suite, write the opening turtle definition, and add the show command. We will keep Tina visible for now so we can see how she turns. An arc is just a section of a circle. We define an arc using angle and radius in our command. Let's set up the command and experiment with it to see how this works. In the arc command, we use two numbers in the parentheses. The first one is the number of degrees of turn, and the second is the radius. Let's see what this looks like. Tina has drawn a half circle with a 180 degree turn. The radius is 20 units. If we change 180 to 360 degrees, we draw a full circle. If we change 180 to 90 degrees, we draw a quarter circle. Tina starts drawing the arc from her default east-facing position. We may want to change her direction before she draws the arc. Let's go back to the half circle, 180 degrees. If we turn Tina left 90 degrees before we draw the arc, she will then draw the arc so that it sits on the x-axis. Let's use the arc in a for loop. Tina will draw the arc, then turn right 60 degrees. She will repeat this three times. This design is called a triquetra. We can adjust the width and color at our extrude and hide commands. And our triquetra is ready to print. The arc command can be used with just two parameters, degrees of turn and radius. By default, Tina will draw to her right. However, we can also specify which way Tina should go by adding a third parameter. Let's start with specifying a right turn. We add a comma, then R in single quotation marks, and close the parentheses. Why do we use quotation marks? If we didn't, then the program would think we were referring to a variable L or R. We will step through the program to see which direction Tina takes when she draws the arcs. As you can see, Tina has made her arc to the right. Take a mental picture of where this triquetra was drawn on the grid. Tina drew it in the first quadrant. Let's change R to L and step through again. This time, Tina drew her arc to the left. No triquetra this time. How can we fix it? You're right. We need to turn Tina left after the arc command. And we'll run. Notice that the triquetra is in a different location on the grid, up in the second quadrant. Adding the left or right parameter to arc can affect both the shape and the location. Now let's play around with the numbers. Let's see what we draw when we change the degree of turn in the arc command. We will stick to multiples of 60 for now. So first we'll do 60 degrees, then 120,
then 180 degrees, which is our triquetra. Then let's do 240, 300, and 360. Now let's change the second parameter, the radius. A small radius draws a small arc close to the center of the circle. A large radius draws a large arc far from the center. We will go back to our triquetra and see what happens when we change the radius. Change 20 to 10. Now 5. The spaces have almost disappeared because of the thickness of the lines. Let's go the other way. 40, 40 and then 80. Not only does the figure get larger, but the spaces increase relative to the thickness of the lines. Can you see the power of computing? It is easy to change a design and see the results. To summarize, the arc command is used to draw curved lines. It takes three parameters, the degree of turn, the radius, and whether the curve is drawn to the left or the right. If you don't include the third parameter, Tina will draw to her right. Practice changing the parameters to see how the curve changes. If you make a pattern you like, remember to save your file. As always, happy coding.